We're at the uh, HSMA day here in Munich. A small Swiss delegation, uh, five, six of us here, representing uh, our country and, uh, and our industry. And yeah, getting inspired, getting new information. We had a great day with a lot of speakers. And the most exciting was that you have these kind of sessions where you can choose where to go. So what kind of topics interest you? And it's a kind of buffet where you can choose or you can pick what you want. Hello and welcome to another Hotel Techie video. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider and today I'm in Munich. I'm at the HSMA days. I would like to share some of the conversations I had at the event and the insights I gained. Blockchain technology. I, I first went in and I was thinking, wow, this is, this is crazy, this is amazing, the future is here. Blockchain. Blockchain. Blockchain technology. And then afterwards I walked out, I was like, hang on, are they trying to solve maybe an issue that's not there, that's not really there from a customer's perspective? One of the most important aspects is trust, so that generally you don't uh, need to trust a single entity anymore. A group of people is working on implementing the blockchain technology for the travel industry. As I understood it, they intend to build their own blockchain where they could validate transactions for vouchers and loyalty, loyalty programs of any kind, pretty much. I think it's, it's really interesting to see. I'm, I applaud them for, for doing what they're doing. It's, it's super cool that we see also this technology slowly moving into hospitality. You can't just um, do things for technology's sake. You have to use the technology to um, get more business, get more customers in, or to make their life easier. I think uh, that uh, there is a very good chance that uh, NFTs would be a strong use case, especially as, as an access token for, for certain VIP clubs or whatever. So if you're a holder of a certain NFT, that uh, yeah, you will get into a certain club or get uh, certain services. Um, that's where I would see it the earliest, probably the earliest application. Tokenizing uh, loyalty transactions uh, would be very interesting. I, I see some challenges there. Because if you do that for large airlines, you just have a lot of transactions. If I do millions of loyalty transactions on a day and um, the transaction cost probably can't be much more than a couple of cents, um, that's probably going to be a challenge. And you need enough validators to validate the entire system because otherwise it gets clogged and congested and you can do it as we see it on Ethereum, but then it just gets ridiculously expensive. You need a very quick throughput as well because uh, you don't want to wait for your transactions for, for hours. And it could be that one day all contracts, every single contract, is, you know, every single purchase is, is, um, is done through blockchain technology. But are we really there yet? And is it happening in our industry now? Or do we have other challenges that we should maybe look at first? Is blockchain the right technology for fast, low value transactions? How much trust can blockchain bring to the consumer? I'm curious what we can do with, with NFTs and with, with smart contracts, uh, membership for hotels, subscriptions for hotels, high value transactions. I think there's a lot of challenges to overcome. I would love to see them do it. Why would they choose something to, to, to purchase something using this technology when what we've got today on offer? I mean, if you if you want to purchase a voucher or you want to book a book an overnight stay, cl two clicks, credit enter your credit card details and you're and you're there, right? But I love the technology, I love the idea, but I'm just wondering if it's the right moment for our industry. The metaverse. The presentation from Meta, uh, from Meta X Facebook, the company was was not that specific. It was very, we have a vision, how we want to build that, their values. It's really still difficult to capture this idea of a virtual or augmented reality that we all live in. We didn't really see a lot of examples, specific examples for the travel industry. One element that they talked about were sort of virtual meetings that are more immersive, events that are more immersive where you don't need to be there physically anymore. So that's actually more of a negative for us as the hospitality industry. Obviously we want people to travel. Some examples I can see is more in the destination part where you as a destination can invite people already to visit, to see, to get a taste, to maybe travel there for a couple of minutes to, to understand and, and attract people like that. Maybe at one point we'll, we'll be able to put on our, our, our glasses or, or go to be in our metaverse and, and search for hotel rooms and, and walk through each hotel room checking, checking for cleanliness under the bed ourselves. Custom hotel booking engines. 
When does it make sense to have a customized booking engine? If you have a special hotel or maybe a small hotel group, it can also make sense to have a look at customized booking engines because the opportunities are endless. If you need a customized solution, you got to pay for it because there is a lot of development behind it. And this is exactly what Stefan from Wildfire Matrix was saying. It's not for everyone. If my technology is more expensive than my revenue, then I have a problem. I need to look at the hotel size. I need to look at the revenue coming in. I need to look at the percentage I'm willing to spend on software or technology in any form. Shani hotels, which were presented, um, offer the guests, the direct booking guests, the opportunity to choose a specific room, which is quite impossible with an out-of-the-box booking engine. Besides of that, I mean, the, the most important Thing is the customization of the booking engine to choose the colors to choose the design and also to make it fit perfectly into the hotel website which is mostly impossible with out of the box booking engines customization really individual you can do whatever you want high cost very complex project when does it make sense to have a plug-and-play solution try to get a booking engine where the customer doesn't realize that he starts or begins at the booking engine, that, that he's on the website, so, um, clicks on different links and doesn't realize that now he is on the booking engine but still thinks he's on the website. You can even have a very cool website and, and work with a standard booking engine if your conversion is right. And the conversion is obviously the big issue. Plug and play booking engine low cost, easy to implement, but then on the other hand, obviously not as much control, very standardized. Online employee branding. How to retain employees in the industry. And that's a very, very important topic. One that every hotelier needs to think about, <laughs> should have thought about, you know, 10, 20 years ago. HR, how to improve your website to find new members, how easy it could be to implement it on your website. I already have this uh, special website part for, for um, careers, but it's only like uh, we are looking for with the, with the job descriptions. And the point I learned is to give like a platform with a video, for example, especially for the young people um, about the hotel, about the culture in the hotel and all that, but also to have like a form where they can subscribe directly and you have directly their contacts and then you can take action. So it's the most beautiful jobs in the world and we need, a, we need to show that off again. APIs, interfaces. Digitalization is generally um, talked about a lot in, in the hospitality industry. What I think is very interesting is APIs. What is an API and how does an interface work? And not all the interfaces are the same. It depends on the um, structure of the interface, what kind of data you can uh, provide from one system to another system. But also if it's a real-time interface, if it's only a one-off shop per day and you get data transferred from A to B. Best in breed versus the all-in-one and you kind of have to figure out for yourself what you really need. Open API is an open application programming interface and that allows any third party to connect to, to the system. And that helps a lot to, to bring digitalization uh, forward for the hospitality industry. If everyone says we have an open API, the question comes up, who makes development? You can't build an interface for everyone who comes along. So the key is really to get the two companies together and ask them to do their bit on each side. There are some companies who do nothing else but building interfaces. And if you want it really fast, that would be my way or my recommendation to go look for an external developer who can actually make it happen very fast. And that allows us to be just much quicker. I think that's the summary of the most uh, interesting points I saw at the conference that were most interesting to me. I hope I was able to provide some ideas, some inspiration, some, uh, some inputs to you as well. Thank you very much to SHS Academy and of course to Movetia. Without them, this trip wouldn't have been possible. Thank you for organizing it. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.